for the most blessed sacrament and her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all our needs. Unworthy children that we are, let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. Merciful Father, you sent your divine Son to redeem us by his death and resurrection and to give us new life. By this you make us your children to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have forgotten this sublime dignity. We have sinned against our brothers and sisters. We have offended you, merciful Father. Forgive us, repenting sincerely of our sins. We ask your mercy. May we always live as you truly are. Please stand. especially this one. While you are on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son, strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God, you accept the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest mother, Share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us, that he answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that he who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us do the same while praying for our own intentions and for the intentions of all here present at this novena. We earnestly ask you, our mother, 
to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and the unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, lighten the burden of the oppressed, teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended Him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of your material protection and confidently hope for your powerful help. Amen. Mother of perpetual help, we chose you as queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loves his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their mothers and fathers. To your loving care, we especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a haven of peace, like your own home in Nazareth. We take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire family of mankind. Amen. Petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Help. Holy Mary, Holy Virgin, conceived without sin, our Mother of Perpetual Help, we sinners call to you that we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for men. I mean, Mother, yeah. that we may be more and more like our divine Lord as we were. I mean, Mother, yeah. that we may be meek and humble of heart like your son, Jesus. Yeah. That we may fear losing, losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin. Yeah. That we may seek God's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance that we may be aware of God's speaking to us in the events of daily life that we may pray daily with love and trust especially in moments of temptation that we may realize the value of worshiping God together in the Holy Eucharist that we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion that as we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit, that we may strive to be the true Christians by our loving concern for others, that we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously, that we may forgive from our hearts those who have wronged us, that we may see the evil of seeking our own interests at the expense of others. Amen. That we may grow for our just distribution of the world's goods. That we may share our talents with others for the good of the community. That we may accept our responsibility in the community in a spirit of genuine service. Amen. To pray that the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen His Holiness Pope Francis, all the bishops and clergy. That we may be blessed with an increase in priestly and religious vocations. That we may bring the knowledge of love of Christ to those who do not know him. That we may be aware of our dependence in God in the midst of human achievement. That we may be ready to death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father that we may die at peace with Christ and our fellow men, that we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord, to pray that our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your son's resurrection, 
let us pray in silence for our own personal intentions. Holy Mary, help us in our needs. Pray for all the people of God. May all experience your perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be our mother, ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. Amen. Consecrate. Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of Perpetual Church, you are also our Mother of Perpetual Help. With hearts full of love for you, we consecrate ourselves to your Immaculate Heart, so that we may be your devoted children. Obtain for us true sorrow for our sins and fidelity to the promises of our baptism. We consecrate our minds and hearts to you that we may always do the will of our Heavenly Father. We consecrate our lives to you, that we may love God better and live not for ourselves, but for Christ your Son, and that we may see Him and serve Him in others. By this humble act of consecration, dear Mother of Perpetual Help, we pledge to model our lives on you, the perfect Christian, so that consecrated to you in life and in death, we may belong to your divine Son for all eternity. Amen. Please stand. Jesus Christ, truly present in the most blessed sac Eucharist, we adore you. It has pleased the Father that in you all his fullness should dwell, and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant that we may be truly sorry for our sins and do penance for them. Through you, we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life. He has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to use them well, so that through them we may grow in love for Him. Above all, we thank our Father for sending you to us as the greatest expression of His love to save us and all creation by your death and resurrection. 
We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother to be our mother of perpetual help. May the countless favors we have received through our intercession, and especially through this novena, inspire us to greater confidence in God's loving mercy and her perpetual help. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God and persevere in his love. To the most holy trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be honor and glory and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for the sick. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayers for the sick. Grant that those who are weighed down with pain and other afflictions of illness may realize that they are among the chosen ones whom you call blessed. Help them to understand that they are united with you in your sufferings for the salvation of the world. Amen. Closing hymn. Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, and have a blessed day.